We're good. And it's all yours. Oh, well, first time I actually met you uh, was at the memorial for Sam Kinison. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And it's like, and it, it, you doing this film and what you said about Sam back then it shows you that it's like you're one of those people that really looked back before you went forward. I mm -hmm. mean, the guys you came up with and stuff sure, like that. Sure, sure. I had a, an amazing training ground. You know, I would put my 15 years in the comedy clubs being affiliated with people like that up against any psychological PhD, you know. I mean, it's just, it was a wild experience and, uh, and so enriching. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've taken so much from all those guys. Well, I mean, talking of psychology, I mean, if there's one person I, I, I thank God never actually went to a therapist, it was Andy. Absolutely. Because that would have kind of ruined it. And yeah, the don't therapist. figure him out. That would wreck everything. I'll kill the therapist, too. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. But, I mean, the guy was so wonderfully, brilliantly... The body of Christ compels you. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that would be. <laughs> no, he was just so fantastically out there. I, I don't think anybody would have wanted to rope him back in. Absolutely. That would be a shame. It really would be a shame. Because his, his motivations were so innocent to begin with. I mean, really you know, approached life in a very kind of uh, pure and uh, childlike fashion. He was like, you know, opened his eyes in the morning and said, okay, let's go do laundry, but you're going to dress up as a bag lady. I'm going to go in there, you know, I'll put my stuff in. You come in, you know, to his girlfriend. You come in, you start taking my stuff out of the dryer, and I'll blow up. I'll come out of the bathroom and blow up at you, and, and it, even if there's one person in, in the laundromat. That will be the story that that one person tells a thousand times. Danny was saying, saying the good thing about working on this one was, was because he said he got to be with Andy again for four months. Yeah, that's nice. And it, you looked like you you were terrifyingly good. Not just good, but terrifyingly good. It was, oh, wow. It was, almost, it was like almost annoying how good you were. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I mean, did you put this guy in like a suit and drop him off at the end of the day, or do you carry no, it around? He was there all the time when we were filming. And, and that's what the way I wanted. I wanted to, I wanted to approach it like for the family, for the friends, and and it really was more almost more important than the movie was that it felt like Andy came back to do it. You know that Andy lived. You know and uh, and that's what I wanted. I can see you using dropped all the time because his eyes were so open the whole time. <laughs> the, the freaky thing that really got to me was that was that. <laughs> How freaky is seeing Lorne Michaels with a, with like a brown hair again? <laughs> and Bud with that goddamn beard. I've never it was so much it. fun. <laughs> it was so much fun for everybody. I mean, it was great. You know, the taxi cast, everybody. It was a blast. Yeah, I was, I was talking to Danny, I said, like, I, you know, Tony Clifton drove them insane, the taxi cast. I mean, it was just like, you know, they came in kind of like with hindsight now. They knew what went on. and. You know, of course, now they were ready. They were all armed with, uh, you know, the clever quips and things like that. Till Tony started like blasting uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks on a loop in the in the makeup trailer and dro you know drove them off the edge again. You know. No, well, that's to talking to. to uh, Poor Jeff Conway. It was like you know oh, it, was, no, no. it was open war. Again. Absolutely. Well, it's, I think it's <laughs> finally I think it's appropriate that a movie's been made because uh, Andy is not dead. Yeah, exactly. Who knows. That's the wonderful thing about the whole thing, is that he beat death. Whether he's dead or not, he beat death. Because we still don't know. And even some of the closest people in his life still have that little question mark. If anybody could do it, it's him. Yeah, he's with obviously the BK in California. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fries, right. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's